Hello, good evening to all of you. It's about 7.10, so you must have finished your exams, and I hope you did well. I'm sure you all did. You are such smart kids. Anyway, today is uh, I'm going to be recording a video on uh, your unit 18 tenses. So this is going to be part one of the video because I want to be a little slow while doing it. And if I'm going to be slow through the whole lesson, it's going to take a long time. So I decided to divide it into two videos, a part one for unit 18 tenses and a part two. OK, so the first part is only going to be about the simple tenses. That is the simple present, simple past and the simple future and this uh, the, uh, and also the present continuous past continuous and the future continuous which is the continuous forms of the verbs okay so we're just going to be concentrating on these two okay in my next uh, video will be the perfect tenses okay so let's get right to it so that this video isn't going to be too long all right so i'm just going to present Here we are, and I got another bright, shiny candy pink for you. Anyway, these are made like ages back. Okay, so let's get down to unit 18 tenses. All right, now you have all learned about verbs and what they are. A verb is basically an action word. All right, and there are different forms of word, the verbs. You've learned about the do, the did, the doing, and the done. The do is basically the present. Okay, present tense or so, uh, the present uh, do form of the word, what happens now, right? The did is the past, what has already happened. The doing is the continuous form, doing. So these verbs have a plus and ing, like jumping, running, etc. And then you have the done form, which is the past participle. Okay, now what you have to know about those are the forms of the verbs. Now we're going to learn about tenses okay now tense is uh, always connected with time of an action and time so you al already know when you think about an action done in relation to time you know that either the action is being done now whether it was done earlier or whether it's something that we plan to do or which is going to happen later on okay so based on the concept of time we have tenses, okay? Tenses, a tense is a form of a verb that shows the time that something happened, that's in the past, something happens, which is in the present, and something that is going to happen, which is the future. So I thought this clock uh, was a pretty uh, good picture to put right in the front, in the beginning of the video, because it shows time and it all involves kids. So let's about learn about uh, 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 verbs and their relation to time and uh, how verbs are categorized based on uh, categorized based on the time that the action happens. All right. So I like to use a timeline when I'm teaching tenses. So the timeline is like super useful and it's very easy for you to understand the concept or the idea of uh, the past, the present and the future. So here we have, I like this picture a lot. So I put it up for the slide. You have on the extreme less left, the past, which is basically symbolized by this boy wearing clothes, which people used to wear many, many, many hundreds of years ago. Okay, the past. Then you have the present, which is now. And then you have the future. And this kid is dressed up in a space suit, which is a symbol of the future because space is the future, right? And there are so many exciting things going to be happening uh, in the future regarding space and technology. So I think the, the, this is the perfect uh, uh, pictures of little boys and girls uh, symbolizing the different tenses of past, present, and future. So the present, the past, and the future are the different tenses. And all the other tenses are based on these three. The past, the present, which is now, and the future, which is going to happen. So let's check it out, okay? So here I have 
lots of actions being done by uh, the same girl, apparently, and uh, or different girls, yeah. But they're all performing an action. But just by looking at the action, you don't know whether it's happening at the moment, whether it's something that happened earlier, whether it's something that she's planning to do. So when you look at each picture, you really don't know the tense uh, in which the verb occurs. Basically, she's watching TV. So she watches TV or is she watching TV or was she watching TV sometime back? Is she playing the guitar now or was she, was she playing it yesterday? Was she, is she going planning to play it after one week? Okay, there are so many actions, okay, that are being performed. She's making a snowman. But did she make it last December or is she making it now when it's really cold? We don't know, okay? So we are going to, uh, the only way we find out when an action happened is when we talk about it. And by the way we talk about when the action happened, by the, by the tenses, we know exactly when the action happened. Not the exact time, but we'll know whether it was in the past, whether it's in the present, or whether it's going to happen in the future, all right? So all these are actions, all these are verbs. The first one is watching, building a snowman, playing the guitar, and here she's uh, playing with some toys, looking out of the window, and here she's just uh, kind of modeling with her pretty outfit, and here she's sitting down, here she's reading, she's on the laptop here. So many things are happening, so many are actions all around the place. Okay, and here I have some more. Here she is eating a hot dog and a sub, and here she's holding a clock, and he's pulling some something to move it from one place to another. Here he's taking some, uh, she's taking something in a wheelbarrow. Here he's he's uh, skating. Here he's lifting weights. So there's lots of things happening all over the place, but we don't know the tense in which these actions are happening. Okay, so let's learn about tenses. So tenses, when are they used? They are used to indicate the time, okay? And sometimes the continuation, continuation of the time, which is the ing form of the word. Jumping, I'm looking at you and I'm teaching you, okay? If I finish teaching you, that means I have taught you. But tomorrow I shall teach you again in the future, okay? So we use words to show the the time when a action occurs. All right, and here, the completeness of an action, which means something that is completed means it's in the past. Something that is continuing is the doing form, something that is happening in the, it's an ongoing action. It is not stopped yet, okay? When you say, I am teaching, I'm still teaching, you haven't stopped teaching, right? And then you have something that is going to occur in the future. All right, or an action or state in relation to the time of speaking. So as I'm speaking, when I tell you about an action, you know exactly. If I say I taught, then you know the action is over. If I say I'm teaching or if I say I teach, you know the action is present, present, okay? It's in the process. But if I say teaching, it's an ongoing action. If I say I shall teach, you know it's not yet happened. It's going to happen in the future. So you have to be very careful and see uh, when the action occurred and you'll know immediately when you see the words, okay, in relation to the sentence, all right? So let's learn about tenses using a timeline. Like I told you, I love to use a timeline when teaching tenses because it gives you a visual idea of the time when an action happened. I love timelines, okay? And you'll know exactly what I mean when I show you uh, the next few slides. So now, I have X, okay? Now, imagine that X is you, all right? X shows the person on the timeline where that person is at that moment or where that action is happening, okay? It shows when it is happening, when you see it on a timeline, okay? A timeline is basically the center of it, shows the present, the left side shows the past, and the left side, uh, the right side with an arrow pointing towards the right shows what has not yet happened, which is the future. You'll see what I mean. The X will show you when the time, the time when the action occurs. You will see if it happens in the present, the past, which is on my left, or the future. My face is the present, 
So my left hand is the past and my right hand is the future. Okay. So now let's just go to the, the simple tenses. Sometimes people call it, uh, you have the three simple tenses, which is the uh, simple present, simple past, and the simple future. Okay, these are the simple tenses. Sometimes it's referred to as present simple, past simple, or future simple. Uh, people refer to it in both ways, but I'm going to just call it simple present, simple past, and simple future because that's the way I learned it as a kid. Okay, and I've, I've, I'm more comfortable with it, and I think you've heard about this from the time uh, for the past three years or four years, you heard it this way, so I'm not going to change that. All right, so simple tenses, simple present, simple past, and simple future. All right, so now let's go to the present tense, the state of being. The state of being means at the moment. Okay, so I have the timeline here. You have the present where the X is, which shows you at this moment, X is on the present uh, uh, portion of the timeline. On my left, as you can see, is the past. And on the right, you can see it's the future. Okay, so let's look at the examples. Shelley walks to school. Now, this is the do form of the verb. Shelley walks to school. Okay, so this action is what happens right now. She walks to school. Okay, so you can see the timeline, which is made up of this uh, lovely red arrow. One, uh, one part of the arrow points in this direction and the other one points in this direction. The central point where I put the triangle is present now and you are an X on the present. So whatever you're doing in the present is the present tense, the simple present. Okay, an action that happens now. And an example is Shelley walks to school, he talks in class, she climbs a tree, they run in the race, they go to school, we study for our exams. All this is in the present tense, okay? Simple present. So there are lots of examples. I am hungry. He drinks water, they ride their cycles, we are thirsty, she is happy. Now is, am, are, these are the state of being and this is the verb be. Okay, these are the forms of the verb be. I am, you are, he, she, or it is, they are, we, were, we are, you all are. Same way I drink, you drink, but he, she, or it drinks. That's why we say he drinks water, okay? They ride their cycle. I ride, you ride, he, she, or it rides. We ride, they ride, and you all ride. So they ride, okay? So all this is in the simple present, all right? And she is happy. You can see the girl, she's like totally ecstatic. That's another word for happy, okay? So now it's the same simple present, but the X is in the past uh, uh, arrow and it is in the right arrow, which is the future. So this X all over the place. Now this can be the action or the, when you have a habit, it can be referred to with this diagram where the timeline has X in the left arm and on the right arm, in the past and in the future and in the present. It means that in the past, Shelley walked to school. Right now she's walking to school, she walks to school and in the future she will continue to walk to school. So when a habit, uh, when you have a habit, you can represent it this way, where the X is there in the past because you walk to school every day in the past. You walk to school every day in the present and you walk to school every day, you will walk every day in the future. So you can represent a daily habit this way on a timeline. So Shelley walks to school every day. It means it's a habit. 
It will it happened in the past, it is happening now, and it will happen in the future. A habit. Okay. So the timeline and the previous timeline, this one shows a habit or a daily. Daily means every day or a monthly or an annual occurrence. All right. So she visits Paris every year. Shows shows that she that did it in the past. She's doing it now, and she will do it in the future. They swim at the lake every weekend, which means every weekend they will swim at the lake. That is also what is hap. It's used in the present tense. All habits are used in the present simple present. Okay, they swim at the lake every weekend. He is always hungry. So he was hungry. Five days back, he was hungry. Four days back, he's hungry now. He will, he will be hungry in another four, five days, in a few hours. So he is always hungry. The word always shows that it's a habit. So we'll say is okay. Simple present. She studies regularly. The word regularly is an adverb which describes the verb study. How she studies regularly. Okay. So it's an action which has always been. The way it's her personality. She studies regularly in the past. She studies regularly now. She will study regularly in the future. So we represent it using the simple present. The sun rises every morning. You know that it's happened a zillion years ago. You know it's happening now. You know it will happen in the future. Okay. So these are all habits represented by the simple present tense. Now let's go to the simple past. Now you all know what is the past. It is something that has happened. It is over and done with. Now when I finish my video, I would have finished making the video. I would have finished teaching you this. So I would have taught you the lesson. I would have finished the video, right? So that would have been in the past. Even one minute. If I finish doing an action, even one minute ago, it's in the past. You can never get that action back. Okay. Now they say, as time passes, you never get that previous uh, time back. Okay, because time is gone; it's passed by. Okay, so past is things which actions which have occurred before. Okay. So Shelley walked to school. We make. Verbs into the past by adding ed, we adding t, by adding d. Okay, sometimes the whole of uh, uh, the spelling of the verb changes when you change it into the past, like eat, ate. Okay, run, ran. Okay, but some you add like jump, jumped, walk, walked. So here you see the x. It is on the left arm, which shows the past. The triangle in the center is the present. So you know that this action has happened in the past. It is finished. Okay, so Shelley walked to school. We don't know when she walked to school. She may have walked to school a few、uh, in the morning. Okay, but that action is finished. She's finished walking. It's she's walked. Okay, so it's represented by the X on the past arm of the arrow. All right. So it's a completed action. The timeline shows a completed action that happened in the past. Right. So. Let's look at the simple past tense being used in sentences. He ate a sandwich yesterday. It shows that an action was completed yesterday. It's in the past. Tanya and her sister sang on stage. The word "sang" shows that it's something that has happened. Okay, if we say Tanya and her sister sing, it is in the present. But Tanya and her sister sang. It's the Simple past. He was frightened. Now, is is a verb. The verb be. I am. You are. He, she, or it is. We are. You all are, and they are. Right. The simple past is was. He is frightened. Present. He was frightened. Past. But maybe he's not. Frightened now, that action finished. He was frightened. She wrote her exams a few hours ago. If it is present, she writes her exams. But she wrote her exams a few hours ago. It's in the past, the simple past. The teacher taught the lesson. 
the teacher teaches the lesson like right now okay but if i finish teaching the lesson i'll say i taught the lesson okay that's in the past simple past okay so you should look when you see if i give you a, a fill in the blank and i say she dashed her exams a few hours ago and i write the the verb the basic form of the verb right next to it and i say like fill in a uh, fill in the blank with the correct form of the verb in this case you read the sentence when you can when you read a few hours ago you know immediately that it's a completed action and you will put the simple past form of right which is wrote okay this these are the clues that will be given to you uh when you do your exam all right so now let's go into the simple future the future is an action which has not yet been completed it means it's going to happen it has not happened yet it has not happened yet okay it is going to happen so as you can see the x that is you are on the right arm of the timeline which is the future okay the action is not happened yet okay it is going to happen okay the simple future tense okay so shelly shelly is always the example the first was shelly walks to school simple present shelly walked to school simple past shelly will walk to school tomorrow an action that has not yet happened so we will use will plus the verb okay shelly will walk to school tomorrow so will plus the present form of the verb the do form of the verb we have to put in the uh, a sentence in the future tense simple future okay so the timeline as you saw shows an action that will happen in the future represented by the x on the future part of the timeline understood an action that will happen so let's see some examples of sentences which are in the future future tense so they will tell us a story they haven't told us a story yet we're waiting anxiously they will tell us a story tomorrow see there's a hint there tomorrow it's not yet happened will tell us a story i shall finish my homework our children here in grammar it's formal grammar okay we use of after i we always use shall we don't use will even though we talk to each other in a very informal way we talk, say i will but grammatically you must say i shall okay that's the first person singular we will use shall i shall finish my homework which means you haven't yet finished it you haven't uh, done it yet it will happen in the future okay they will travel to germany in a few hours it's something that is going to happen right so it's in the future okay we shall not go out if it rains so this is a negative sentence instead of saying we shall go out we i have written we shall not go out so we shall now we also the third person or the first person plural we we we, we have to use shall so i shall we shall remember this children because if i give you a question uh, uh fill in the blank in your exam where you have to fill it with will or shall and you write the wrong one you have to write shall for i which is the first person singular and for we which is the first th person plural you have to follow it with shall in the future tense so we shall not go out if it rains so it is not started raining yet but if it does rain we are not going to go out it's something that is planned out in the future okay next so now we finished off with simple tenses which is the simple present simple past and the simple future and we've learned it using the timeline now we are going to go to the doing form of the verb which is the continuous form okay doing it is the verb plus ing and usually the doing form of the verbs always before them you have helping verbs okay like is am are was were may 
okay uh, um, wait yeah is am are okay uh, been okay or you use uh, was or were okay children so as you see the examples you'll know what i mean so we have present continuous we have past continuous and we have the future continuous where an action is ongoing it's an ongoing action okay so let's see it using the timeline so present continuous tense an ongoing action happening right now so as you can see in the present okay in the center you can see the arrow which is curved which shows an ongoing action it is not stopped yet but it is happening right now without stopping like i am teaching i am teaching you right now it's still continuing i haven't stopped teaching you i am teaching you are listening he she or it is listening we are talking or we are teaching okay you all are listening okay they are talking for example all these actions are it's an ongoing action without stopping at the moment which is represented by the navy blue arrow in the present uh, position center position an ongoing action in the present verb plus ing okay so how will you rep how will you say it with shelly shelly is walking to school she has not stopped walking yet right now she is walking okay she is walking so this is the present continuous tense okay and an ongoing action which is happening right now okay so here the timeline shows a continuous action happening at the moment at uh, right now so let's see the different examples we are eating breakfast we are continuing to eat breakfast nothing has stopped us we are eating breakfast are eating because we is a plural subject pronoun so we'll use a plural verb which is we are eating breakfast are is the helping verb eating is the main verb okay i am flying a kite so present continuous i am in i am doing the action right now continuous action of flying the kite i am flying a kite i am flying a kite okay am is the helping verb flying is the main verb okay so in forms of the verb will always have a helping verb all right she is ringing the bell he is ringing the bell it is wagging its tail okay he she or it will use is okay which is the uh, it is the um, present uh, it shows the present tense okay it shows the present tense is what she is ringing the bell okay so it is a is is a present uh, uh tense it's using the present tense i don't know why i am stopping because i can hear some noise in the background and it's kind of confusing me okay so she is ringing the bell ariel you know ariel is the little mermaid A ariel is meeting the sea witch ursula the sea witch she's to scare me a lot okay so she he ariel is meeting ongoing action happening in the present okay the wizards are casting a spell are casting a spell okay so the wizards it's a plural subject so we are using a plural verb are but is am uh, and are are used in the present okay so these are the helping verbs followed by the verb, main verb plus ing okay so now we go to past continuous tense past continuous so look at the arm on the timeline in the part where it is the past arrow you see an ongoing action happening in the past the action was happening in the past but obviously it's not happening right now so in situations like this we use the past continuous okay so shelly was walking to school many years ago 
okay but she doesn't walk anymore to school she takes the bus for example so it is an ongoing action happening in the past but which is not happening anymore but it was an ongoing thing she used to she was walking to school every day in the past but not anymore understood so you can see the ongoing action which is the navy blue arrow curved arrow which is in the past arm of the timeline so an ongoing action that happened in the past or was happening in the past but it stopped okay so the timeline shows an ongoing hap action that was happening in the past let's watch see the examples we were driving to the beach yesterday so in the past we were driving but right now we're not driving but that was an ongoing action that was happening in the past okay they were laughing at the juggler's tricks yesterday yesterday there was a bir birthday party in my friend's house there was a juggler doing tricks and they were laughing okay in the past yesterday at the juggler's tricks okay so it is an ongoing action which was happening in the past she was singing for every school program last year so in the past last year for every program she was singing okay she made it a point to sing for every annual day program so she was singing in the program every year even the last year that ongoing action was happening i was hoping to join art classes last summer so last summer the ongoing action in my head was oh i want to join the art classes i hope i can join it so it is an ongoing thought of mine i was hoping to join the art classes last year an ongoing action of hoping which happened last year but now i don't feel like it anymore okay so that action was an ongoing action in the past but which doesn't happen anymore all right now we go to future continuous tense okay so here it's an ongoing action that will happen in the future now let's say you know that uh, in the future you will be taking driving lessons you know that it's going to be happening and you know that every sunday you will be driving uh, you'll be taking driving classes so in the future it will be an ongoing action which will be happening okay so you have the arrow which shows continuity or continuous action in the future arm of the timeline okay so shelly will be walking to school every day from next month it is an action which is predicted to happen an ongoing action from next month that means in the future okay so let's see the examples okay an event that will be in progress in the future which will be an ongoing action okay so they will be watching a christmas carol this evening right now it could be morning it could be afternoon i'm talking about something that's going to happen in the future in the future doesn't mean many years later or many days later it could be just a few hours later so they will be watching a christmas carol this evening so they will be continuously they will be it will be an ongoing action from 6 o'clock Or, or whatever in the evening i shall be hosting a party at the end of the school term like i told you i and we should always be followed by shall or shall in the future okay so i shall be hosting a party at the end of the school term so the end of the school term is uh in the future but it will be an ongoing action i shall be hosting a party in the future at the end of the school term mona will be learning to bake a cake this summer so summer is not uh, holidays have not started but during the summer vacations in the future she will be learning to bake so it will be an ongoing action which will be continuing all summer right rakesh will be taking acting classes next month so next month rakesh has a plan it will be a it may happen every day Uh, or it may happen twice a week it may happen uh, once a week but it will be a continuous action that will be happening in the future so rakesh will be taking acting classes next month okay so i hope you understood the concept of time uh, with regards to these sentences 
you have three or you have the simple tenses which are the simple present the simple past and the simple future then you have the continuous form of the verb or the continuous tense which is basically the present continuous the past continuous and the future continuous okay so we've learned about simple tenses past present and future and about continuous tenses past continuous present continuous and future continuous so far so there's more in my next video the next video will be about perfect tenses and perfect continuous tenses okay and i think that's the end of it so coming up in my next part two of the, the video on unit 18 tenses will be the next video that i'll be putting up on youtube so perfect tenses and perfect continuous tenses will be the next topic coming up soon okay hopefully tonight i'll finish it okay so that's the end all right and we go back to the meat okay i really enjoyed that and i hope it wasn't a long video i haven't checked but uh i really hope it's less than half an hour okay it's not bad but let's see once i save it i'll know exactly how much time i spent on this video anyway enough about that i'll be starting off on the next part two of unit 18 tenses with perfect tenses and perfect continuous tenses. And I hope you understand when you watch the video all about tenses. Children, it's really simple. You just have to understand it and practice it, like I said. Okay? And I hope you did your exams well. And I hope you're resting now, enjoying time with your family. Okay? So see you. Uh, I think I'll be seeing you after a few days. That's on the 1st of April. Right? So bye from me. I love you so much. Take care of yourselves. Bye. Bye-bye. Stop recording.